Hi everyone, it's James in Japan. If you're looking at my light, it's flickering. The light is getting dark and it's making a strange sound. Okay, this is what you're going to do. You are going to remove this cover. So I'm leaving the light on, but you know, when you remove the tube, you should turn off the light. Okay, you can ground yourself if you want. Okay, on the side is a little switch over here. I'll bring this camera up. On each side, actually, there's a switch right there. You press each side at the same time. That will release the cover. So I'm pressing each side and then it'll come off like that, like a UFO. And then you might find some flies inside. So dump it, wash it, dry it. You see this, um, this big tube? That's the problem. So I need to change that. It's a 40 watt. I don't think I have it. I need to go to an electronic shop to get it. You can even buy it at a convenience store, but it's more expensive there. So turn off the power. Okay. You can wear gloves if you want. It's up to you. It's probably hot. Okay. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to remove the clamp, which is easier. Then you can pull off this cable. Either way is okay. Okay, so you remove it like this. Okay, and there are three clamps. You're only left with this cable. Don't worry, you won't get shocked. I've done this hundreds of times. You won't get shocked, but it is hot, so be careful. You just gotta yank it. There. You see that? I'm gonna turn on the light. No more sound, but you have the small tube there. Okay, and you need to make sure that you have the right size. So it tells you on the tube. This In this case, it's Toshiba, but you can choose any company as long as it's the right tube. It has this 40K and 38 watt. But it says 40 watts, okay? So if you're not sure, bring this to the electronic shop, ask the person working there to find the exact size, and then they'll get rid of this tube for you. It's that simple. When you come back home, turn off the power, and then reattach it, okay? The best thing to do is plug this in first, and then reattach it, then turn on the light to test it out. And if everything works, then put the cover back on. So that's how to replace a burnt out Japanese light tube. All right, thanks for watching guys, bye.